Well, I finally found a use for this thing. If you'll remember, we looked at this uh, a few weeks back. It's the USB to 3.1 NVMe, NVMe to USB adapter. Uh, and basically what you would use it for is to what, you know, my original purpose for getting it was that I was going to um, uh, clone a drive with it. That didn't work, but this is gonna work. This is actually exactly what you'd use something like this for. So there's my, my main machine is down. The motherboard is on its way back to Newegg for RMA, um, which leaves me essentially living out of a car in terms of uh, my workflow. So I've got here my lap, my five-year-old laptop um, with a fourth gen Intel CPU, eight gigs of RAM and a 980M mobile process or whatever graphics card, NVIDIA 980M. So here is the NVMe hard drive out of my old machine. And right now I need to put a bunch of stuff in the cloud so I can get to another machine that actually can run Adobe so I can edit video and do stuff like that. So um, I have my own cloud storage that I use and there's just too much in it uh, for to, to, to go to another computer and then have to download each thing individually. It would just take too long. So I want to grab everything in bulk and I want to get it off this drive. How the hell am I going to get it on here? Well, that's what, that's what this thing is for. So it's kind of funny. I was wondering if I'd ever use it uh, since I did spend like 70 bucks on it. So we are going to see now if we get our money's worth it'll actually be worth it if this uh this works out so sorry for the proverbial mess here i uh i'm really like i'm very disorganized right now because uh i wasn't expecting my machine to go completely down i'm going to be making my next video about what happened with that all I did was try to add a second CPU fan and that was basically Armageddon as far as the machine was concerned. Luckily, I never got around to encrypting this drive, so not gonna have, hopefully, huge pain. Huge pain there, so. Here we go, we've uh, just, you just saw me, basically all I did was just insert the drive into it, which I have a whole nother video on this, this piece. Oh shit, I need the, uh, yep, hold on, whoops. Oh, I haven't finished my coffee yet, give me a minute. I forgot I need the standoff screw. There's only one in this bag, so. Every screw in this bag is very tiny, microscopic. So, we're coming up on uh, Christmas here, and uh, so we get about seven hours of daylight a day right now. And uh, so I figure, perfect time for the cowboy hat, right? Let me know what you guys think about the cowboy hat. I'm thinking about making it my moniker. I really love cowboy hats, but the region of the country that I live in, it's not really culturally appropriate to wear them. So, this is kind of my way where I can get away with it because I'm always doing ridiculous shit with my computers and taking myself out kind of like the Wild West computer stuff. I mean, not totally wild. I know there's people doing much more crazier stuff than I am, but still. To take myself out of the game 
by switching to AMD. I mean, it's my worst nightmare, basically. I mean, the whole reason why I've avoided AMD builds my whole life was because I was worried about a scenario like this where I sw would switch over to it and then be down. And uh, that's exactly what happened. And uh, I was heavily considering, I mean, I'm gonna make a whole nother video on it. I was heavily considering switching to another manufacturer like another motherboard manufacturer, but it seems like they're all having problems. It seems like X399 is just, um, I don't know, like it's not reliable. So I got to decide if I want to go back to Intel now, which um, I really didn't. I was really happy to get away from them for a lot of reasons. And uh, so it's kind of a bummer now to think that I might be like a slave to them because uh, I really loved what Intel did with their their chip, their chips, their Threadripper series chips. I mean, they're affordable and they're, the performance is there. Uh, it's just that the reliability isn't, and it's not even the chip itself, it's the hardware that it runs on just all seems to have problems. I don't care if you look at, you know, Asus or um, uh, Gigabyte or ASRock, which is what I was using, or um, who's the other big one, um, uh, MSI. You go through their forums, you go, you look at the comments on the boards themselves, and you'll get five star, five star, and then a bunch of one star reviews with people having crazy problems with their boards. Stuff that they really should, the kind of stuff that I haven't seen in a long time, and it's all because of the X399 platform which is why I'm sitting here making a video at seven in the morning, putting the freaking 970 Pro back in this thing uh, so I can grab basically music off of it to, to use in my videos. So let's see if it fires up and let's see if I can get my stuff off of it. Got the uh, XP noises, XP sound effects on here. There it is. There it is. Yep. Yep. So now, I mean, I just have to take control of my old folder and, uh, <laughs> and I just realized that this isn't the drive I need. Um, there probably is some stuff I can grab off of it, but the drive I need. Oh, actually, no, this is the drive. No, this is the drive. Okay. Oh, boy, I had a panic moment for a minute. Yeah, this is the drive I need. I have a separate drive for video, but the music is on this drive, so. There's one, that's how fast it took control of it, so pretty good. Um, and throw up the Creative Cloud Flash. So just like that, I wasn't even expecting to, uh, woo, look at those speeds. Wow, that was fast. So I know you can't even see this. I can, I'm seeing in the thing that you can't even see the, uh, the what's going on on the screen, but let me just tell you, I mean, I just copied, what was it? Not that much. You know, a half a, a half a gigabyte, but it was like, I'm not joking. That was like three seconds. I mean, you just saw me point and click, you know, and it was 516 megabytes and it, it copied in like three straight seconds. So this thing is not bad. I'm actually glad I have it now. Uh, it kind of just saved my life. So, um, yeah, no. yeah. Okay, we're good. We're good. So, so that's it. So that is the uh, the JE Mobile NVMe to USB uh, adapter uh, actually working, doing what it's supposed to do. Um, touch it here. It's getting warm, but it's not. It's not. It's not screeching hot. But when I cloned it, when I tried to clone to it, it got really hot. So that's it. Um, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we will be back with you soon.